ever break wind on an airplane and the person next to you picks up on it I felt so bad for this woman cut me some slack this morning I feel like my head went to a ravioli machine had to let one go poor woman picked up at 12 13 seconds and passed you know I just see her turn curl into a ball right into the window I was like oh shit just a flight from hell this morning a flight from hell I asked the flight attendant for five cups of water five you would have thought after three she would have said take the damn bottle I'm sick of you know we take off baby wailing 6 30 a.m. flight I felt terrible for the mother mother's walk in the aisle god bless her who walks the aisle get the kid to calm down eventually the kid stops crying sits down turbulence from hell it was like clockwork the second the kid was done crying just <coughs> it was a two by two little american airlines jet you know st louis to new york the thing was barely bigger than a friggin' bald eagles every damn <coughs> it was like a paddle boat in high seas the only reason why it wasn't the worst flight ever was because i found out the row behind me was empty went right back there halfway to the flight couldn't fall asleep because my head was pounding but Anyway, this is how I know the Bears are going to win today. Flight attendant Jamie that was hooking it up with all the water had red hair. That Bears orange, beautiful. Not a redhead guy, but Bears orange hair was fantastic. By the end of the flight, I'm like, hey, Jamie, sorry to be a pain in the ass for two hours of your morning, but is there any chance you could just give me the bottle? And she goes, I'm not really supposed to do that. I'm sorry. I turn around. She taps me on the shoulder. Slips me to leader. We're back. We're back. Bears by a million. I hope Khalil Mack gets ejected today for clotheslining Aaron Rodgers. Go Bears. Have a good Sunday.